Hi, and welcome to this Cooper Maths primary video on fractions of amount. Now, you probably already know how to work out a half of 20, but a half of 20 is 10. And the reason that a half of 20 is 10 is that if you have 20, and you share equally between two, that each of them gets 10. So a half of 20 is 10. And you can find it just by dividing it by two. So if I wanted to work out half of 14, well, 14 divided by two is seven, just sharing it equally between two. And again, a half of 60, well, a half of 60 is 30, because again, if we do 60 divided by two, we get 30. Right, now let's work out a third of some numbers. So a third of 15, well, again, if I share 15 equally between three people, or share equally between three, I get that each person gets five, or each item is five. So a third of 15 is five. And again, the way to work that out is we just take our 15 and we divide it by three. So if you wanna work out a third of something, you divide by three. So 15 divided by three is five. Next, a third of 30. Well, a third of 30 is gonna be 10 because 30 divided by three is 10. And finally, a third of 18, well, a third of 18 is six because 18 divided by three is six. So if you wanna work out a half of something, you divide by two. If you wanna work out a third of something, you divide by three. So if you wanted to work out a quarter of something, we were just gonna divide by four. So 100 divided by four, uh, well, we could half and half it again to get 25, or we could do 100 divided by four, just using up our shelter method. Uh, four into one doesn't go, remainder one. Four into 10 goes twice, remainder two. And four into 20 goes five times. So a quarter of 100 is 25. So to get a quarter of something, you just divide it by four. Next, one fifth of 35. Well, again, if we wanna work out a fifth of 35, we're just gonna divide it by five. So 35 divided by five is seven. And finally, one tenth of 80. Well, if we wanna work out a tenth of 80, we just divide it by 10. So 80 divided by 10 is eight. So that's quite nice. If we we're trying to work out a half or a third or a quarter or whatever, we just divide by the number on the bottom of a fraction. In other words, the what we call it the denominator. We just divide by the number on the bottom of the fraction, as long as it's got a one on the top. But what if the fraction that we wanna find out is something else, maybe like two thirds of 15? Well, again, we know that a third of 15 is five because if we do 15 divided by three, we get that if you share equally amongst three, each person gets five. Well, if I want two thirds, well, that would be two thirds. Well, altogether, that would be 10. Now, a quick and simple way of doing that is to get our 15 and divide it by three to work out what a third is, which is five. And if we wanted two thirds, that's two lots of five, you just times it by five or by two. So two times five is equal to 10. So if we wanna work out a fraction of a number, we divide by the bottom and times by the top. Um, so for instance, if I wanted to work out three seven, oh, sorry, if I wanted to work out if I wanted to work out three sevenths, I would divide by seven and times by three. Now, the ones we looked at earlier, maybe like a quarter, we divided by four, but there's no point in times by one because if you times by one, you just get what the quarter is anyway. Okay, so let's have a look at some questions. So our next one is three fifths of 20. So we're gonna take our 20 and work out a fifth of it. So a fifth of 20, 20 divided by five would be equal to four. And we want three fifths, so we're just gonna take our four and we're gonna times it by three to work out what three fifths would be, and that would be 12. So three fifths of 20 is 12. And our next one, two ninths of 36. Again, we're gonna get our 36 and we're gonna divide it by nine to get what one ninth is. So that's gonna be four. And then we want two lots of that, so we're gonna do four times by two to work out what two ninths is, and that's gonna be equal to eight. So to work at a fraction of a number, you just divide by the bottom and times by the top. And sometimes you might need to maybe use like a, the bus shelter method or you know, to do the division. So here we've got two fifths of 600. So again, to get two fifths of something, we're gonna divide it by five first of all. So 600 divided by five. So five into six goes once, remainder one. Five into 10 goes twice. And five into zero goes zero times. So one fifth, of 600 is 120, but I want two, uh, two fifths. So I'm gonna times 120 by two. And if you double 120, we get 240. So that would be 240, and that's it. So if you wanna work out a simple fraction, like a half or a third or a quarter or a fifth, you just divide by the number on the bottom of the fraction. If you wanted a, fr a fraction of a number, for instance, you know, three sevenths or two thirds, you just divide by the number in the bottom of the fraction and then times by the number in the top of the fraction. And that's it.